cool. So today, I'm just gonna do a little short tutorial video on how to get your videos from any Adobe software to be 1080p to 4K. Um, because I did receive a couple questions and on Instagram and on Twitter about how do I get my anime and all this other stuff to be 1080p up to 4K. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that right now. All right, so first, once you go on ahead and you get your project file finished on up, you're done with the edit and all, um, what you're gonna wanna do is, I'm using After Effects, so you're gonna wanna click on up, up top here at Composition, and you all, you all can't see it because my webcam's in the way, but you're gonna select Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Once you select that, in Adobe Media Encoder, the project file will pop on up. It's gonna take some time. Two hours later. About goddamn time. All right, so once you do that, what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna make sure this is selected as H.264. It should automatically already be selected as that. Um, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click this drop down tab. Once you select that, you can select whichever software, sorry, not software, whichever site you're gonna upload it to, however you want the footage. Now, what Media Encoder is, is it just compresses the files down, so it does make the files a lot smaller. Um, be wary if you do go to YouTube 4K, it the rendering times is gonna be really long, if you want me to be honest. Um, plus, for anime and some games, I kinda think that's overkill for edits. Um, but yeah, once you select that, you kind of just select where you want it to go. Then you can just hit the green mark. And then down here, it'll play a little preview as it goes through the frames, frame by frame. And then you'll be good to go. Once the video renders, it'll pop up wherever you select it for it to be. And you have the footage right there in 1080p. Now you could go overkill if you want to. Um, I'm gonna stop this. Um, oh yeah, this is another thing too, not too many people know. If this happens, you don't have to go on ahead and hit add to media encoder again. Just right click and hit reset status. Um, if you double click the YouTube, you can actually edit the exporting composition. So you can kind of change. All right, so I went ahead and just cut ahead cause this thing was taking forever. But so from right here, you can go on ahead and select what you'd want the composition to be rendered on out as. So if you wanted to do Instagram, which is 1080 by 1080, you can. Um, you can edit on up the frame rates down here. So all you gotta do to edit the frame rates is you just gotta hit, oh, I'm sorry, click that. You uncheck that. I always hit match source just to make sure that I'm getting exactly what the footage will be. So this will be 1280, so it'll be running at 720p, but we want 1080, so I'm just gonna go ahead and convert that back. But you can change it to 60 frames per second. Um, be mindful of doing that for for some stuff that you're doing because edits and effects don't really run too well like that with it, um, per my experience. But once you get that on done, the video will render on out and it'll pop on up wherever you save your files at. All right, and that's it for this video. If y'all find this video helpful at all, please do leave a like and a subscribe. Um, I will be posting more gaming content. I've just been swamped with a lot of commission works and a lot of stuff I've been doing with editing. So I am gonna possibly go on ahead and record right now. Um, it is like five o'clock in the morning, 517. So I, I don't know, I'll see. But definitely do I do promise I will have more content out soon though. Told all these bras don't get comfortable. Been told all the comp I'm untouchable. Don't get around, you ain't hot, you need to simmer down. They been in town, let me tell you something different now. All these niggas hating on me cause I'm piped up.